Hillary Clinton's after party at the Hyatt in downtown Philadelphia. There's a lot of people cheering that room behind me. They don't know exactly what they are cheering for. She was up by 20 points a month ago. So what happened? Is Hillary Clinton a beer swilling, whiskey swilling, middle class woman who likes to shoot ducks? Well, not exactly, but this narrative clung to a lot of voters in these past few weeks. There was a lot of acrimony, there was uh, the resurrection of Osama bin Laden in a, one of the Hillary clips. There was Hillary saying that uh, Iran will be bombed by nuclear weapons by the United States if, if Iran ever attacks Israel. She never mentioned that Israel has 200 nuclear weapons for self-defense. And it's, it's still all up in the air because in terms of conquering delegates and super delegates, Hillary did not win in Philadelphia and did not win in Pennsylvania. So the show must go on and will go on with still a lot of mud thrown by each, each of the two camps, a lot of acrimony, and the Democrats are still privileging one route. They are fighting among themselves instead of fighting the Republicans. This is the lesson of Pennsylvania. I will not vote for Senator Obama after 20 years of voting Democratic all my adult life. I will not vote for Obama. I don't care if Hillary tells me to. Why wouldn't you vote for Hillary? I think she's too pro-war in her heart of hearts. I would vote for an anti-war candidate. Do you she know is closer to John McCain than to Obama.